Welcome to the weekly Weber State uh, Super Smash Bros. Tournament. First up, we have Majora Master versus Pug King. I haven't seen uh, Majora Master on stream for a while, I'm pretty sure. Game starting off strong for Majora Master. Uh, I don't think we've seen a Link very much recently. See lots of K cool K, K King K rules around here though. King really climbing in percent right now. Majora Master has a very big advantage. Majora Master gets another stock. Majora Master still three stocks. 112 percent. Hug King down to one. King get spike game number one for Majora Master. Next up, we're going to FB. Fucking going for uh, Peach this time. Drawer Master still on the link. Don't see very much, very many Peaches. They're Daisy, not Peach. Much uh, more even game right now compared to the first. Majora's Master still having the lead. Bucking gets the first stock. Jorah Master comes back and gets the stock though. So 2 2. Very even game.
game is starting to look a little bit more in Majora's Master's favor. But there's a very first uh, puck game. Good space and Puck King there not to get hit, and then immediately punish. Another good parry from Puck King. Master climbing percentage down a stock. The game is starting to look like it's Pudkings. Good recovery from Majora Master there. That is game number two for Pug King. Daisy versus Young Link again. But King is you know, uh, really good at hitting these parries against Majora Master. Uh, game number two, we did see Majora Master start off to have that lead, but just like that, Puck King is able to get so many good parries against him. King is having some very good spacing though. Just like that right there. There's his first stock from Majora Master. 115% on him. Pug King comes back, it's stock. Pretty even right now, Pug King, slight disadvantage. But Pug King turns around, now he has the advantage of percentage. Pug King tries to go for the just land there and then parry. Maybe he's trying to bury the arrow. Majora Master gets the shock. One to two now. Majora Master, 92%. The game has been the closest out of all three of them.
But King is getting some good hits on the Majora Master. Majora Master rolls behind Daisy there, so he doesn't get uh, punished on his recovery. Majora Master using the bomb there to recover on the other side of the map. Our master has a pretty big lead right now. Final stock on both players. But King is getting some okay damage though. That's the game. 2-1 for Majora Master. We have 1k3 versus Hell Blood. Ready, 
Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure I'm for 1k3. One K three gets first stock. One K three gets frozen and stock. One K three trying to uh, punish the recovery. Carry 3 doesn't get the stock there. Bed blood is 114%. 1k3 tries to uh, dodge up after the one uh, the PK freeze. Stock number two, both players is very high percent. It's looking really good for 1k3 at the beginning. Kind of choking a little bit now. But he recovers, hits a bunch, and gets stopped. Hell leg hasn't gotten stopped quite yet. One K three, one hundred seventy-two percent. Hundred percent difference right now. How high can one K three go? One hundred ninety-eight percent. Starting final stock really in favor of one K three. It is still possible for Pale Blood to uh, turn around. Really uh, weird interaction though. Gave fire in the throw crown. Game one for 1k3. Going into game number two. Back to PS2. Starting off really strong for 1k3. Zero to death, it's spike. We did see 1k3 have a pretty good early lead in the last game, but he threw it away almost. Both players at even percents right now, but 1k3 is up a stock. Bella tries to go for a PK freeze and he's punished with the grab. 3 to 1 now, 1k3 at 124%. 1k3 parries the uh, PK freeze. Bella off the stage. Gets back on though. Bella gets a spike, 2 to 1. Game is still pretty in favor of 1k3.
Double at 123 percent. Game is looking really in favor of one Kidri's. Up a stock, up a lot of percent in this game. Not quite the game yet. And there it is, 2-0 for 1k3. Next up, we have Info versus Frosty. Frosty feels called out by the name, so he's playing Ganondorf. Pulling out the dwarf. Oh, that was a really good uh, carry there from Info. Basically fills up his entire bar from halfway for their ascent. Game starting off pretty uh, weak right now for him, for Frosty. Starting off strong for Info because Frosty was able, or for, because Info was able to get the uh, ascent so fast. Arsene does run out.
Frosty does get the first uh, stock. Info comes back and gets stock though. Frosty uh, misinputting there, I think. Pretty even for sense right now. Info is pretty close to having our send. Here's their send. We saw Frosty when he got or er, Info when he got the air send. He was really uh, dealing a lot of damage. We're seeing a repeat of the Arsene really doing a lot for Info. Arsene is gone. Frosty's 153%. Frosty 193% hanging on. One good hit, gets stock. There it is. One or two now. Info 81%. It's a pretty close game overall between these two players until Info gets our send. And then our send is just able to help Info do so much damage. Frosty does get a stock though. They're both down to one stocks. Frosty's 38% is still winnable. Frosty probably needs to just sort of get Arsene out of the way. Game is looking very in favor of Info. Frosty 117%, Info only 40. One good hit gets our sign too. Here's the Arsene. Not sure if Frosty's gonna be able to survive the Arsene. Frosty off the stage. Gets back onto the ledge. Info doesn't punish the recovery. Our son is about to run out. Our son runs out. Frosty off the stage. Gets too low, can't recover. Don't forget the spear. Going to game number two on Kalos. There's the Arsene. Frosty just hits uh, info just a little bit, and Arsene comes up so fast. But Frosty gets the stock there. Only at 89% uh, after he got hit. 
There's another stock for Frosty. Three to one now. Here comes their Zen. Info is up stage. Info hit the tech, but I think he got. I think he got footstooled. Going into game number three, Ganon versus Joker again on PS2, I think. Game starting off strong for Infel, which is just uh, really weird for the start of this series. For these games, most time Frosty is able to start out very strong, then Info gets that Arsene. Game number 3 is starting off really good Rainbow. Info taking no damage so far, Frosty 126%. Info gets stuck. It's looking like the complete opposite of last game where Frosty just dominated three stocks by the end. Players are even on percent right now. Info has Arsene. Frost is going to have to start playing uh, better than Info if he wants to make up for the big disadvantage he's at. Frosty gets it. Frosty spot dodges a grab there, I think. Gets stocked. 2-2 two two now. Frosty is at 108%. 118%. Pretty big disadvantage to overcome. A good parry from Info as well. One hit gets their send. There's their send. Frosty gets stock. One to two now. Our center runs out. Frosty does get stock though. 57% coming down to the final stock. Frosty not too big of a disadvantage that it looks like he might have been at the end of the game.
Here comes the Arsene. There's Arsene. Info is at the percent advantage, and he has Arsene. Frosty is still being very aggressive, even with this Arsene out. And I think that is the game. 2-1 for Info. And the curtain.
Next up, we have Kofor versus Yoj. Just Oj. Kofor starting off the uh, Ganador. First uh, young Lith we've seen in a while. Starting off pretty even from both players. Dope tries to go for the uh, kick trying to get the stock there, but I was just able to hit him out of it, so it doesn't get stock. But there is the up smash from the Ganondorf and it gets stock. Kofu gets another stock. 3 to 1 now. Kofu 189%. Kofu gets stock. 2 to 1 now. Game has been looking really strong for Kofu. Game one for Kofu, two one two to zero. Kofu having a very big lead there, Drow. Going Kazuya versus Ganondorf. A good spot dodge of the grab move for the uh, Oj. Good hit from Kofu. Since Oj is a little bit too low and he's unable to recover. Comes back, does a lot of damage to Kofu. Oh, it's just standing uh, on that ledge for a really long time, just holding onto it. Oh, it's not far away, can he recover? Doesn't have that, but he can't recover. Pretty even on percent right now. Kofu is up a stock. Is that the game? 2-0 for Kofu. Surprised that that grab just gets the game like that.
Going to the next round, uh, Dragon's Fly, Dragon's Fly versus Diamond Aura. Starting up strong for Dragon's Fly. Interesting CDR is starting off with uh, Kevin Falcon instead of his Robin. The DR is the first one to get stocked. Dragon's Fly gets stock, still 0%. Going to stock number 2, having 2 cents, but it's coming back around for Dragon's Fly. Probably not another amazing matchup for Captain Falcon. Samus with uh, all of her projectiles, we get the zoning in the way. Gets a spike though. Dragon's Fly going off the ledge and getting spike.
Yeah, 176%. Dragonfly like really sure doesn't get stocks. It does get stock there though. Again, going pretty even in these final stocks. They are having the sledge advantage. Dragonfly evening it out though. Dragonfly just had such a lead of percentage throughout this entire thing, but Dara has been able to hit some really good spikes to get the first stocks. And DR do it again. It's Dragonfly's turn to hit the spike. Yar pulling out his Robin this time. Three, Falcon two, not quite getting there. Two projectiles carried them probably just going to shoot at each other. Uh, pretty even, slightly in favor of Dragonfly. The Samus charge shot there beating out the Elfire. Had a walk away, come back to both players with two stocks. Susan's been really in favor of Dragon Spy. They are at 91%. It seems like Dragonfly. Ooh, good Nosferatu from DR. It seems like Dragonfly is, uh, is really good at getting percentage. He's not as good as at uh, getting stocks. Pretty even percent right now, slightly in favor of Dragonfly. Yara looks like he tried to go for a Nosferatu there. Yara climbing percent, 148. Use the Arc Thunder. Stop the charge shot, but get spiked. Dragonfly, high percent off the stage. Here, I'll just do the uh, card shop. Yara still doesn't quite get the stock there. Dragon's fly 150%. Yara gets the stock 1 to 1 now. Dara 44%.
We are at 94%. Dragon Slide only 30. Doing very in favor of Dragon Slide right now. He is off the ledge though. Dragon Slide gets back on, thrown off again though. Like there had gone for a grab there. Maybe he didn't have the book when he meant to. Maybe it was a Nosferatu. The charge shot in Dara's face, still alive. And there it is, 2-0 for Dragon Sly. Next up, we have Beta versus Dragonfly. Beta pulling out the funny penguin. Game's running off for Dragonfly. Dragonfly hit the hits the Gordo back in Beta. That's why I get stuck. Only 44% on him. Coming back, getting okay, okay percentage on Dragon Slide. Yeah, he's still at a pretty big disadvantage right now. Doesn't quite get the shot there. Beta swinging around his hammer, and he's not hitting anything. Dragon Slide gets hit by the Gordo and stock. Beta still at a pretty big disadvantage right now, 100, 116%. A good suck and the shield break from Beta. He 
gonna say, a really good uh, suck up of the charge shot from Beta, and then he got the shield break immediately and gets stock, evening out, giving Beta the advantage, two to one. Beta off the ledge, 163%. Beta gets hit and stalked, 1 to 1 now. Dragon Swipe, 39%. Yeah. And there it is, game 1 for Beta. Game number two. I'm sorry I'm even. It sucks the wrong way. Probably would have hit the charge shot there if he was turned around. Okay, I'm starting off more in favor of Beta right now. But then uh, he just uh, falls off the ledge and dies. <laughs> Dragon Sly not getting uh, shield broken that time. Dragon Sly doing the same thing as Beta, just uh, falling off the ledge and dying. Beta grabbed him the wrong way. He gets punished for it. Beta knocked off the ledge, cannot get back. The mine hit the Gordo into beta. Beta still alive, 166% versus 39 right now. Really big hit for beta though. Beta one stock now, one to two. Beta gets stuck but comes back, evens it out, one to one, zero percent both players. And that's the game 2-0 for Beta. What a combo into the uh, winning the game.
Next up we have 1k3 and Kofu, starting on PS2. Kofu going for a villager. Surprisingly I haven't seen Kofu play Me Gunner yet. K rolls pretty heavy. So Kofu does not get stock there off of that. Kofu pocketed the crown. I don't think he got it. Kofu doesn't get spike. Gabriel really linear recovery. Trouble dodging the bowling ball, I believe it is. There's the crown in Kofu's pocket. Kofu does get stocked. Kofu gets spiked one to two. Kofu pocketing the crown. Kofu getting a little bit punished there for spending the time to try and pocket the crown. Kofu off the stage, 1k3. Might be able to stock him here. Kofu dodges. Gets the stock. Kofu 103%. Let's see if he's able to clutch this out. Kofu missing the, bear, or the uh, bowling ball. Kofu off the stage, 123%, pockets the cannonball. One gate through climbing percent, so is Kofu though. 150% on Kofu, 111 on 1k3. 1k3 probably has the more of an advantage. K roll, probably easier at stalking villager. That's the game for Kofu. Going into game room two. Kofu pockets the crown. Really early to start off pocketing the crown.
Should not ride the rocket there for Kofu. Gets stock into the berry. Goku gets his dog, makes it back up to stage, pockets a cannonball. 1k3 still has a pretty big advantage right now, 6% advantage for 1k3. Goku using the cannonball they pocketed. Goku mashes out of the ground and doesn't get stock, 105%. Kofu now has this uh, percent advantage. 1k3, that k roll recovery, just so linear. Good parry there from 1k3. Gets a stop. 1 to 1 now. It looked like Kofu should have pocketed the cannonball, but he didn't get it. Kofu is super low, gets hit, and he doesn't get knocked anywhere. Well, plays about even percent. One gate three knocked off stage 133 percent. One good hit from either of these players could really end the game right now. Probably more so for one gate three being the heavy character. And that's the game. 2-0 for Kofu.
Going into Beta versus Fire Muffin. <laughs> Beta's starting off aggressive. Games don't have strong for Fire Muffin. Beta facing the wrong way. Game's starting to turn out a little bit beta, better for Beta now. Unfortunately for him, he is down a stock. Game is looking really strong for Fire Muffin so far. Fire Muffin tries to go for the fairy. Beta doesn't get baited into it and just grabs it instead. Beta gets a stock at least. One to two. Beta will not get three stock. Get a 141%. Huge disadvantage. Down a stock. Not sure how he's going to clutch this one out. Beta going for the hammer approach, I guess. Doesn't get it though. DDD versus Chrome again on Hollow Bastion. Beta doing much better this game. So far. After the last game, Fire Muffin really could turn it around at any moment. These attacks are coming out so fast on Fire Mountain. 
but it really doesn't have much time to do anything. I'm up and going for it. Let's get it. The player's about 103%. Beta gets the first stock this game. That is something. Gets stopped. 2-2, 0%. Probably in favor of Fire Muffin after last game's performance from him. I believe Beta did say this is a really bad matchup for people. Game started out okay for beta. Really turned around for Fire Muffin. Beta, 108%. Fire Muffin only 35. Beta gets stuck there, 1 and 2 now, Fire Muffin 74%. It's looking like this series might be Fire Muffins. Beta doesn't quite get the spike there, but it doesn't get stuck. Beta 91% off the ledge. Gets back on the stage. Prime Muffin tries to go for the parry on the Gordo. Doesn't hit it though. Beta climbing in percent 123. Okay, Prime Muffin just end the game with the series. I'm off the stage. Off the stage now. Beta gets a game at least. Game number three. Starting off strong for beta. I did see uh, game start off strong for beta last game too. I've seen he's able to keep the lead. Beta gets a stock at 10%. Game is still very winnable for Fire Muffin. Going really well for Beta so far. Prime Muffin able to poke Beta, not getting sucked up.
Well, players is about 80%. Good ledge guard from Beta. Three stocks to one now. Beta 118%. Beta does get stock here though. Two to one now. Fire Muffin still could come back. Team Fire Muffin really kind of be in the driver's seat for most of the series. Fire Muffin getting good percentage on Beta. Get on the ledge. Pretty decent start for Fire Muffin if he wants to try and win this game. Beta gets a stock 1 to 1 now. Fire Muffin 53%. Probably not the big advantage Beta would want going into the final stock. But he's going to quite a lot of percent there without getting any taken back onto him. 292. Game's still pretty in favor of Beta. Good Gordo from Beta. Fire Muffin spot dodges this thing that's going to fire far away, and Beta gets it. Two to one for Beta. Wrong. 
Next up, we have Prince HD versus Kofu. Kofu going for Sephiroth. Uh, Prince HD on the Pyro Mithra. Okay, I'm showing off strong for Brim's HD, so come to the Pyro. No surprise Kofu didn't get punished there for that uh, up attack. Kofu charging up, sorry, explosion doesn't use it yet. Kofu misses a grab. Prince HD giving first stock 127% on him. Knock off the ledge. Kofu comes back and stock it. 1%. Good parry from Kofu. Prince HD off the stage. Kofu tries to go for the parry to edge guard, doesn't get it. Really good uh, hits there from Prince HD getting the stock. Game looking really good for Prince HD. He is at 111%. Kofu can get the stock pretty quickly without taking too much damage. Kofu still could turn it around. Kofu gets stock. 1-1 one one now. Kofu 34%. Not at a huge disadvantage. Prince HD has done really well though at getting uh, the stocks. Prince swapping to the uh, Hyra already, kind of surprising. There's game one for Prince HD. Going into game number two on Kalos, same characters for both players. Surprise, Kofu isn't swapping. It didn't seem like the uh, Sephiroth was the best pick. Game starting off really strong for Prince HC on the entire swapping to Mithra. Starting strong on the Mithra, swap Hyra.
game starting off really good for Prince HD so far. There is a 30% difference now. Kofu eating out a little bit. Kofu trying to go for a V parry. Doesn't bait Prince HD into it though. Looks like Kofu released his shield a little bit too early there. Kofu didn't grab the ledge there, falls down and gets stocked 3 to 1 now. Kofu comes back and gets stocked 2 to 1. He would probably be looking really good for Kofu if he didn't just kind of SD there. Prince HD getting a lot of percent. Sparks fly, and that's the game. 2-0 for Prince. Going to winners finals, Beta versus Prince HD. Beta on the DDD, Prince starting off with Pyra and Mithra. Good spot dodge uh, to dodge the grab there from Prince HD. Swapping to Pyra. 
Doesn't quite get the shock there for on the DB sprints. Bane is still alive, 158%. Prince Sucker on the stage. Beta is so good at this game. Does get stock though. Stock number two starting off better for beta. Starting off better for the HD. Surprise Prince is swapping over to uh, Paris so fast. Prince staying on the Mithra. Back to the Tyra. Beta gets stock 2 1 now. Beta at 83%. Surprise uh, Prince is staying on the Tyra so often. I think he would uh, swap to Mithra trying to get the percentage. Probably a bit harder for Pyra to get stocks in. DDD, pretty heavy character. Prince punishing the get up, getting stock. 1 to 1 now. Prince 28%. Not quite the game. Oh, is it? It is the game. Going into game number two, Prince swapping to Steve. Beta thinking this is a pretty big, pretty bad matchup for DDD, and Prince thinks it's a pretty good matchup for DDD. Guess we will see. Beta doing really good right now, uh, stopping Prince from mining. Beta charging the hammer. Doesn't get it. Prince getting a little bit of time to mine right now. Minecart beating Gordo, pretty bad for Beta. Prince gets stalked by the Gordo. Beta 79%. Beta getting hit by his own Gordo after it hits the Minecart. Prince crafting Iron Tools. Stock number two looking pretty good for beta right now. Weird interaction there. Prince does have diamonds. Beta okay, 144 percent. Prince has another set of diamonds, so he'll probably try and craft diamonds if he's given the chance. Beta gets hit by the anvil. There's the diamonds for Prince. 89%. Prince getting some decent time to mine right now.
I mean, they're not able to find a good opening to approach Prince. More diamonds to Prince. The game started off so strong for beta, but Prince HD now has the advantage. Prince does get stocked 2 1 now, beta 143%. Prince will come back and get diamonds. Prince trying to use the TNT to edge guard. Beta slow get up into the lava bucket. Pretty even final stock for both players. Prince having diamonds and a lot of iron, which is bad for beta. Prince refreshing his diamonds. Beta waiting really patiently with all the jumps above Prince to bait out the magma block. Game two for Prince. Going to game number three. Starting off strong for beta. Not sure the uh, Hollow Bastion match up for uh, Steve. The game starting off really strong for beta. Prince HD not having much time to. Prince HD evening out the percentages a little bit. Really good Gordo control from Beta there, hitting Prince. Beta gets first stock 99%, 3-2. Prince only has uh, stone pools. Prince getting so much free time to mine right there. Beta 139%, Prince 15, he has so much iron, Prince has diamonds, he was probably just in his favor because of all those resources he has. Beta gets stocked 2 2 now.
Prince has more diamonds. Kensei gets another stock one Q now. Prince is so far ahead. He has all these resources. He has diamonds. Not sure what bait is going to have to do to come back in this game. Prince just refreshing his diamonds at 125%. He's has so many. Yeah. Get spiked. Going to game number four. Back to Hollow Bastion. Um, Prince HD starting off getting uh, Iron Tools really early. I'm not sure if uh, Leslie is just able to have a lot of time for mining, but I feel like Prince got a lot of iron. I don't know if that has anything to do with the stage. Beta doesn't get the stock there, does get Sparks 5. Prince has no iron. There's diamonds for Prince. Game is looking in favor of Prince HD. Beta is above on percent. Beta does get stuck there. Beta is at 146. Prince has diamonds. Prince is getting a lot of free time to mine. He has so much iron. There's more diamonds. Game is looking in favor of Beta. Beta does get stocked 2 to 2. Prince HD, 101%, knock out the stage. Prince has a lot of iron, he has diamonds for when he, if he gets stocked and comes back. It looks like Beta got hit by his own Gordo there, kind of surprising. Really good bait of the magma block from Beta. Flying about just about it. Two to one now. Prince HD does have diamond tools. Beta's been getting caught a lot by the lava bucket today. 
Looks like he's figuring out how to fight it though. Get okay, just cannot recover with that uh, lava bucket. It's really getting him today. It has another pair of diamonds, quite a lot of iron right now. Game is very close. Maybe slightly in Prince's favor just because he has so much iron and he has diamonds. Prince on under 4%, knock on the stage. Uses minecart to get back. Another big hit from Beta. Going to game number five. Going to game number five. Start off good for beta. Full play is about 40%. Prince HD getting a little bit of time to mine right now. There's iron tools for Prince. That Gordo control from Beta. I'm surprised that the Elytra hit one against the Gordo. Prince HD has diamonds right now. Has another pair of diamonds, so I'll probably go for the crafting diamonds. Friends getting a little bit of time mining. Maybe being really patient to mash out of that minecart, waiting for a good time to get out of it. Almost a cool hit for Mana. Prince out of iron right now. Still not a stock for beta. There's a stock for beta. 3 to 2 now. Beta 136%. Prince comes back. Cast diamonds. Beta trying to stop him. Trying to hit him. Prince getting some good time to mine. Again, Beta being really patient about trying to bait out that magma block from above, above DDD with so many jumps. I'm not even sure what that was. It looks like he got hit, Prince HD got hit by a Gordo and he got 
uh, shot off his own block and get spiked. Prince had gone for an anvil there and he was out of iron. He didn't get too punished for it though, and he does get stock. Prince has diamonds, he doesn't have much iron though. Beta up a stock, Prince at 105. It's looking rough right now for Prince. Prince has no iron, knocked off the stage. Still can't believe that the Elytra just completely wins against the Gordo. Prince goes too low, and it's 3-2 for Beta. We have Green Wing versus it. We are in... Let's see... Loses round 6 right now. Both these players just coming from playing doubles. Games are pretty even right now. Slightly in Green Wing's favor, but info... Not too far away from getting our set. Renewing with speed. Info doing really well of waiting out the speed. There's a smash for Greenwing. Here comes our send up for info. Greenwing takes away the smash. Greenwing uh, playing very defensive right now, trying to wait out this Arsene, it looks like. Greenwing with Smash, trying to edge guard. It looks like Info went for the grab. 
Info probably thought that he wasn't able to recover there, so he might as well just try and trade the stock. Stock number two looking much like stock number one. Greenwing with the advantage. Info has our send now though. Good parry from Info there. Pretty even percentages. Arsen, a good swap to smash from Greenwing and hitting Info and getting stock. Granolin swapping to speed. Info does really well uh, waiting out the speed. Greenwing 136%. Info does have Arsene. Greenwing still being very aggressive with speed going in. Not scared of the Arsene. Here comes the smash. Greenwing tries to go for the recover into the parry. Info does not get baited into it though. Info pretty far away from Arsene. Pretty big disadvantage of Arsene right now. The parry holding up way longer than Green Wing thought it looked like. Info recovering really well there. Able to get it. Green Wing gets rid of the smash. Here's the speed for Green Wing. Info 107%. Arsene about to come out. Again, Info tries to go for the parry. Or Green Wing tried to go for the parry there. Uh, the recovery. Doesn't get it. Here's the Arsene for info. Here's the shield for Greenwing. And Smash. Greenwing gets rid of the Smash. Info, 138% off stage. Greenwing has jumped. Get the air slash. The future is ours to decide. Game number two.
Greenwing pulling out the Buster, trying to get percentage, swapping the jump, and then the speed. Greenwing using this speed really well to keep uh, info off the ledge. That Greenwing gets a stock with Smash at 40%? 43% he hits and gets a stock. A very early stock for Greenwing. Well, players about even percent, which is bad for Info. Greenwing is 92% right now. Info just barely. Info just barely not able to cover there with the uh, jump. Greenwing back on to the smash when he's landing swaps to speed. Arsene about to run out. Game looking uh, pretty even right now for Grooming having such a huge advantage at the start, getting that really early stock. Info now has the percent advantage. Grooming gets some good hits though with the smash, or with the uh, damage Monado, whatever it is. Thought Info might have uh, accidentally gotten a little bit too low on its stage. Info almost having Arsene one hit probably gets some Arsene. Does have to be careful. One good hit from a Smash Monado would probably get it. Here comes the speed from Green, from Green Wing. Info 120%. Info going for it with the jump. Greenwing has to be careful. Have to be more careful there with the Arsene now. Greenwing gets the stock. 1 to 1 now. Greenwing at 3%. Using speed to run around as Info comes down from the uh, platform with invincibility. Info maybe swapping out a shield there a little bit too early. Game is looking in, in Info's favor, but we have seen Greenwing get some really early stocks with his uh, Smash Monado. Info's about to have Arsene one hit. We'll get Arsene a couple seconds of time. Last round, Greenwing. Here's the Arsene. Greenwing, 102%. Have to be very careful against this Arsene. Greenwing might just kind of try and poke around with speed and try and wait out this Arsene as best as he can. Greenwing surprisingly being pretty aggressive still with this Arsene out. Arsene's about to run out. Arsene runs out. Good parry from Info though. Greenwing has jump, 134%. Game two for info. Don't forget the spear. Going into game number three. Shulk versus Joker again. Three, on PS2. Two, one, go.
Don't have strong for greening. Info does have Arsene right now, though. About even percent. Both players are shielding at each other right now. Both don't want to get getting taking too much damage. Green tries to go uh, pretty deep with the uh, smash attack on the air slash. Doesn't get anything from it though. Info 96 percent. Green with smash. So has to be careful. One okay hit from the smash right now probably gets the stock. Green with the jump going very deep. Greenwing gets it 3 2 now. Greenwing 78%. Info getting hit like three times already has our set. Info gets stock 2 2 new. Info 63% about to run out of our send. Grinning using shield? Maybe he went on an accident and has smash right now. Info has to be careful against smash. It's not quite a super high percentage. Grinning with jump going. Getting the stock 2 to 1 now. Grinning at 10%. Looks like all of. Most of the modern Monados right now are recharging for Green Wing. Doesn't, not sure how much that matters. Info 50% has Arsene. Here's the speed. Green Wing with the jump. That game? 2 1 for Green Wing.
Then in the next game, Greenwing versus Kofu. Kofu on Jigglypuff. Kofu playing a uh, different character every single game. Every single series, I should say. Pretty even percents right now. It's probably bad for Kofu because he gets stocked there. Jigglypuff, high percent. Much more likely to die than a um, cheap Shulk. Kofu does get stocked though, only 5% 2 2. Stock number 2 looking a little bit better for Kofu. Uh, unfortunate SD from Kofu. Kofu gets stuck though, one to one. Stock, last stock, looking better for Kofu, pretty even right now. Game would probably be looking a lot better for Kofu if he didn't SD there on accident. Green wing, 98%. Kofu only 62. Kofu going uh, pretty aggressive right now, trying to get the stock. Greenwing out of speed. Game one for Kofu. Kofu does have to be careful with the smash. Smash runs out. Green with jump. Green with speed. They start off looking really strong for Kofu. Green only has somewhat turned around. Really good control of the platform, but Kofu gets the first stock. Goku waiting out that smash so patiently. Does eventually get stocked though. Stock number two looking again good for Kofu. Green turning around the defenses. 
Here's the smash from Greenwing. Goku does have to be careful of smash. Jigu's buff is very light. Goku is going to punish the recovery. It looks like uh, that could have went very wrong for him. A good parry from Greenwing. Doesn't get stuck. Smash from Greenwing. Jump from Greenwing. Greenwing gets stuck. 146% on him. 2 to 1. Greenwing 175%. 193% hanging on. Two hundred percent. Not sure what happened to Greenwing there, got lost in the sauce or something. Game two for Game Wing. This is a good result. Game number three. Game starting off strong for Kofu. Green wing 143% on speed. Kofu gets hit. Doesn't get stuck though. Green wing is driving at really high percentages against this Jigglypuff. There's a stock though for Kofu. Greenwing with Smash Cut, let's be careful. Greenwing misses with the jump. Does hit the air slash though, does get stock off it though. Good air dodge from Kofu. Greenwing has Smash again. Both of these players climbing percentage, which is probably Kofu's favor. A good shield from Kofu. Renewing the speed. Renewing. 
jumps up and gets stuck. Game's still pretty in favor of Kofu right now. Grinning back onto the speed. Grinning just taking these big hits at such high percentages. 157. Goku tries to go for the punish with the air slash to sit. Greenwing out of the buster. Greenwing has smash. Goku has to be careful. 78%. Greenwing gets stuck. 163% on him. 2 to 1 now. Greenwing swapping the shield. You're hitting 180% off stage. Gets on the ledge. Tofu with a grab. Up throw doesn't get 204% on Greenwood. Finally gets stopped. Greenwing has smashed, Kofu 84%. That's the series. 2 1 for Greenwing. All right, hello everybody. This is 1K3. I think this is Loser Semis. Uh, here on stream, we got Greenwing and Fire Muffin. Two very pronounced swordy mains in their own right. Greenwing with more unorthodox play style, considering he has to utilize all those Monadas. And uh, Fire Muffin with the Krom, of course. The tried, the true. He's going to take a lot for this. Buster's kind of crazy. It's a good dial. Both these guys are just spacing. It's a pretty good edge guard. Pretty good edge guard. Speed allows him to go way farther than usual. I think it makes him a fast faller. I don't know. Jump doing the opposite. I'll slow down the game with his shield. Gonna miss the grab. Crazy Nair one up smash. Okay, gonna get a lot off of this. Gonna switch to Buster. Okay, he's gonna lose Buster, he's trading out for speed. Getting some nice advantage. And, uh, oh no, never mind. Sent right back. 
Mom up air making it so hard for Green Wing to win here. Gonna miss that grab. Very close though. Where I'm at the ledge, gonna get off. Pyramuffin playing very passively this time around. Been on this ledge for quite some time. Gonna get off. Oh, down air back air. Look pretty clean. Stringing it together nice. Down B. Well, it goes for the read. Doesn't quite pay off. And kind of go in the air. Just avoid fire muffin. Get around him. Good forward air. Good spacing. Back air might have just taken it off the side. Backslash. What a punish. That looked like it hurt. One of the most satisfying moves to hit. As you can see there, we have some local talent with uh, Juder the crazy wall sitter. He's been wall sitting since this game started. And frankly, it's just incredible what this man can do out here today. I'm trying to set wall setting, wall sitting history during this set. Very much in pain here. Who cares what's happening again? He's gonna take some deep breaths. Really, really gonna need some air here. He's gonna make it a whole, we have a whole nother stock to go and he's still wall sitting. He's gonna have to make it and have enough endurance for the next game. It's gonna be tough for him. Not gonna get the counter on the recovery. I don't know how well it works with Shulk. Jump to make the combo not work. Working out for Fire Muffin. Yeah, air slash. I'm gonna do the second slash to get him off him. Oh, I'm there, that was crazy. Ooh. That move doesn't work! They, they didn't program him correctly. That's like the seventh time I'm sure. Oh my gosh, he's struggling. He's wall sitting. He's in so much pain. He's in so much pain. Just like Greenwing after losing the game to him. Terrible counter. Collapsing to the ground, Shooter 73. What an incredible performance out here tonight. Really showing us what he's made of. We're gonna watch him going into game two, and I'm gonna I'm interested to see how his endurance lasts. He did look quite out of energy. I'm gonna pray on a long time deciding on stage bands. Gets his, his nice stretches in. Josh really thinking about what he's gonna ban for Green Wing here. Wait, I just realized they're both named Josh. You have a double Josh set here. Getting his stretches in, really recovering after that last game. I'm gonna actually invite him over for a quick interview. How are we feeling after that last game? Exhausted. This game is hard. And it's even harder for those who have to watch while wall sitting. This is a shout out to everybody who tries this dangerous, dangerous activity. Love you, mom. Hi, I'm on TV. And there you have it. One of the most pronounced wall sitters in the region giving his thoughts going into game two. The game broke for a bit there. Going to put a chair next to him. This is what he does. This is what he does. He gets the chair next to him. Gives him good motivation. Going to have something to put his arm on as that is allowed in the rules. Alright, going on town and city. Same match. Alright. I don't know if the stream is getting this, but on my end, the game looks a little funky at the moment. It's like a line in the middle. Eh, whatever. You guys can handle it. Gonna use this phone, gonna get a nice distraction. Wall setting becomes a lot easier when your mind is on something else. This could be a very big edge guard for Pharma. Very good back air. I've noticed Green Wing is just using like his slightly better range, and it's really working. It's like they both have swords, but like Green Wing is doing a really good job at like 
going at his sword range as opposed to Krom. It's facing really well. Jab back here, not gonna kill yet. Krom up air is better than the whole rest of the character put together. Gonna go on Buster. Probably gonna rack up a little bit more damage. We're going to the Smash Art. We are in Town City. One good forward air will do it. Not gonna go for the counter. I'm, again, I'm not sure how it interacts with uh, Krom Uppy. Smash is gonna expire, and I'm not sure how, what he's gonna do about it. Might be hard for him to find this kill, especially at this early of a percent. Again, opting to ledge trap. Doing so good at spacing. It's a good in air. Back air is gonna take the kill. I don't know which way he's DIing, because I don't know. It looks like it wouldn't kill. Shield Art's gonna prolong the stock. Speed. It's up. We get it. Ooh. Keeping him in the corner. James, as you can see there, is struggling. We're only on stock two. He is shaking. Oh, and there he goes. Quite an unfortunate end to such a journey. As you guys all know, he did win the National Shaky Guy Contest. Or at least he was a runner-up. I believe honorable mention at the National Shaky Guy Contest. So, he, he's going to be struggling to recover from this one. Quite a slow game. You have to respect his hustle. Lasting about three minutes in. Let's get back to the game. I don't know if the shield art was intentional. Green Wing is going to pull ahead here. Fast Smash going to take it right before the Nair could cycle around. Not take it, but gonna going to hit. going to connect. Such a good Nair. Covers right above him. Going to get caught. This character's bottom one. That counter has screwed him over. I lost him game one. Dash attack. He's been so good at baiting out this upbeat. Fire Muffin just wants to press it. It's not working. Wow, that's gonna be a lot. That's 40%. Buster's gotta be one of the better arts. We're getting like some weird effect on Is there a button that just fixes it? Alright, sorry, just trying to. What's it called? Troubleshoot this issue we're having on stream. Looks a little better now. Alright. Green Wing is still kind of ahead. Not gonna tech any of these. Speed makes it weird to tech. Oh my gosh. I think everybody who just saw that jaw is wide open on the floor. Because he had such a read. A little off on the timing. And you hear the crowd's reaction slightly delayed. Green wing gonna gonna take the caboose here. Gonna armor through the first hit, get hit by the second. Playing is really safe, both these players. Especially Fire Mouth and playing very conservatively. Yeah, back air. This is such a close game. What a nail biter. I don't know if the counter was intentional, but Green Wing wasn't able to make it over in time. What a good grab. He's gonna make it back. Great Magna Hands. I don't know if he wants to activate shield, uh, Smash Heart because it might just kill him. Now we're going to give him advantage hate. What in the world? What a cheater. What a cheater. This man cheats. All right. Now we have a uh, shooter on the mic. These guys used to be two of the hypest players I knew, and I loved them. And don't get me wrong, great players. True. They took it to like a five, six minute game. I hate them now. They're my least favorite. I'm I'm giving up wall sitting because of this. See me next week. Bye bye. And there you have it. Juder announcing his retirement from the wall sitting committee.
All right, looks like we have Prince HD and Fire Muffin. I want to say Losers Finals. As you can see there, James, Juder, the beloved wall sitter, bitter. Bitter from what Fire Muffin did to him. Took away his rights, his family, his house, virginity, all of the above. He has nothing now, if not wall sitter. Zombie. That looks like we're going mains on this one. Was well, seeing a bit of the Pithra from Brent's earlier, so who knows? All right, jumping right in. This is a best of five, just to clarify. All right. Ooh, gonna miss that early percent combo. This fishing rod is not working out for Steve. It's the wrong way. You just let him mine. Calm down. Let my man mine. Jeez. I don't think the mine carts are working. I don't. I don't think that's controversial. He mine carted like six times and it didn't work at all. Crom's broken. Hold down. Oh, he didn't hold down. He's not cool. It would have killed. Steve Man can't <laughs> mine cart at a disadvantage. What happens next is shocking. James, as you can see, they're unfazed by the minecart shenanigans that's happening. Oh my gosh. What a massacre. Just let the Steve run away for a little bit. I don't think minecart's to play. I don't think I don't think it's the play. He really rolled into the down smash. Wow. I That was the biggest massacre of the night. Call the doctor, there's been a murder. James hasn't moved an inch. Oh no. Had to switch from top one to top two. I'm just baffled. I don't know if I should be commentating or writing like a funeral speech. Neutral B. Foresight. No. -uh. I don't know why people are complaining about Chrom combos. Just press the press the foresight button. Move safe. Don't try to punish anything she does. No. -uh. Just read it, lol. Just don't let him air dodge. That was a weird grab. I don't know why he let go of Shield, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Outplayed moment? I hate Pyronair. I'm not the first to say it. It's so weird that it's so strong. <laughs> My favorite thing about that move is Sakurai specifically said that the, the neutral B for the Mithra did not hit behind, which was just blatantly a lie. Down there? Huh? 
Dash back F smash. Switch to Pyra. Who's broken? Don't punish it. You're dead. <laughs> I don't know if he had up smash actually. <laughs> wow. What a. This character looks hard. <laughs> Dude, he's crazy. MKLeo, who? The Mithra didn't use side B to recover? Fun fact, fun 1k3 tip. If the pirate has side B, they will roll towards the sword. You can just kill them for that. <laughs> nuh uh. Nuh uh. Rob up air is better than the whole character put together. Uh-uh. Oh, man, it's revolt! <laughs> Dead? What an F tilt. He has a jump. What? He's gonna recover. What a back air. This could be the game. Gonna air dodge right back. Josh is no streamer. That's it. That's game. James going for the throw. Oh, oh no. He has a he has a knife. He has a weapon. Can we add it out the fist bump? I want it to look like All right, grand finals. We got Beta and Fire Muffin. I don't know how Fire Muffin made it this far. It must have been some kind of fluke, some kind of bracket mishap. Did he get seated number one by accident? And they're holding up doubles. So what's even the point? Why, why are they? They think they could just come in here with their grands and just ruin doubles. Um, I appreciate that we have a mouse pad now, but it's a cat with an old meme background with a top text, bottom text that says, which enchant? This enchant, or dis enchant, my bad. I, I ruined the joke, but let, let's just, let's just do grands or whatever. That was stupid anyways. Yo, that's my guy. Not 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 fire mode. Not him. Surely, bro doesn't beat Steve and Pithra and then lose to DDD, right? That'd be quite silly. 
Yippee! The hero in the crown. Oh, he's so hot. <laughs> the crouch. Huh? The arrow, he spot dodged all of it? If Beta wins this, he's officially the best DDD ever. Of all time. TM. Copyright. That move's crazy. Look at all the moves where he spins the hammer. Oh, oh. Bro did a little spin first. I thought that would be safe. <laughs> Just goes on stage. Based. Got him. Ah! Alive! That's my heavy brother out there. That's my super heavy, heavy brother in Christ. He is narrowing. Oh, oh, the low crouch. I feel like he could have punished. It looks like Josh is really struggling against a character with multiple jobs. <laughs> Dude, everyone in the whole room is gonna see that happen and laugh. All right, can we just pack it up so we can play doubles? Can we just like wrap it like we get it? We 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 can abbreviate the set. Oh. <laughs> Dude, why he's been playing this character for like two days. I'm talking about Crown, by the way. How's he already so good? I think he had the jump hammer. Watch this F-Tilt. No, 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 watch it. It's about to go crazy, yeah. Wait. I'm just saying, if he would have F-Tilted, he would have killed Krom a while ago. You're going too hard off there. Whoa! I told you it was a bracket, Blue. He was on stage. He was on stage. What? I told you guys it was a bracket flu. He's not supposed to be here. He's just God's favorite. Why? Why does he have good karma? He entered a good wall sitting salary man's career. And for what? For his pride? For his ego? His pride? Let's see the stage pick battlefield. Josh is a set behind. So... He'd have to win this set and the next one. He is not a bracket works. You're not children. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Top 10 broken round starts. Number one. Huh? Huh? How come he can just jump? All right. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. He could just two frame him. No way he gets the kill off of that, right? I hate this game. He's God's favorite. He's God's favorite. God made him and was like, yeah, this one, I like this one. Oh, 
God. I love how the Donkey Kong music is playing. I love how slow DDDS smash is. Because if you miss it, you really miss it. And if you hit it, oh boy, do you hit it. <laughs> Get him, King! Wait, is Krom a king? Are they both kings? Shut up, Josh. That's mid-set coaching. He's disqualified. No way he got hit by down B. You have to be a buffoon to get hit by down B. If you ever get hit by down B, don't talk to me. I will come over to your house and make you feel unsafe. Sorry about that. I got a little hell about there's some some issues on our end. Ah! <laughs> He's God's favorite. Who lets him get away with it? Some sick God. Huh? Oh, he had an air F smash. What? What? <laughs> Uh-oh. I thought he died there, but he's a big boy. Spike him! Oh. What if he went straight up? What? Oh! Come on. Big D! Triple D! D Meister! D Dog! Oh, what a bait! What? He was in front of him. Oh, if he held down the. He's dead. There's the reset. Undeserved. Josh is explained champing. Look at him in that camera. He is like, well, crazy. Crom back here is the savior of this bracket run. Battlefield again. All right, now that Beta's trying, I think he might win. Wait, he's, he's playing DDD? I thought this was like a joke. I thought, I thought the DDD was a joke. <laughs> At first he was like, mm, DDD, but like as a joke, but now I don't think it's a joke anymore. What an interaction. What a grab. Not gonna get the combo. He is gonna get the attack. Mid tech coaching, he's disqualified. Again. He had the F smash, didn't line it up, didn't space it, didn't time it. This game one is looking heavily in Fire Muffin's favor. Light trapping like a god. You can't go anywhere. He'll find you. Going for the downer through the stage. Inhale gonna hit. Oh no, just barely mashes out. Move so safe. Back here will get it. Just such a dominating stock.
Wow. <laughs> Took 40 for throwing Gordo on wake up. Wow. Oh, he had it there. Good jab. King DD jab just looks so boom, bad. boom. Looking heavily in Fire Muffin's favor. Both players struggling to close out. I guess, you know, fade us at 60, but whatever. Up tilt, not gonna go off the top. His Minecraft music is popping. The vibes are immaculate. This might be a Fire Muffin tournament dub. This would make history. He's pressing buttons. Up tilt, not gonna kill. Down tilt. That does catch air dodge very well, but he did miss time out. Gonna get the footstool. That was a weird interaction. Caught him with the jab while he's below the platform. Gonna live. It is Fire Muffin. Oh, he doesn't go for that guard. He's playing very safe. Safer than he usually plays. Back air. Just almost a whole stock ahead for Fire Muffin. Both these players, it's, you can feel the tension. Down tilt will do it. He's at 130, but he is a heavy. Krom dies. He's not that cool. Okay, guys. It's not that good. He can't go for that F smash. Drop through platform there. Just do it. I'm just saying, drop through platform there would have killed. You would have got a ball up. Accidentally gets the pivot grab. He's going to work out for him, though, because he gets down tilt. Back on stage. Oh, no. Looks like some snapback. Not going for the up B. Playing it so safe. Safer than I've ever seen him play. And I hate him. Up air, back air. This could be the stock. He's looking for this, for this up B to just trade. Up smash not gonna connect, but beta isn't able to punish it. Caught the roll back with the F smash. Are we gonna see a character switch? This is gonna be very important. DDD has been doing it, but like not winning, you know? Battlefield hasn't been working out for beta, so I'm interested to see where he goes now. I really hope Fire Muffin loses. I hate him. F D. King D D D. Which enchant? Dis enchant. Three, two, one, this game goes the same. This will be a fire muffin W. But Beta can pull it out. It's had some plot armor moments. Roll the clip with the block. Very good Gorda. Wow, just playing so clean this game. I know they're about even, but Beta is just in control. What a good data. Or not Beta, Dor Gorda. Holy crap. Holy crap. Stone face on Beta. Just the craziest Gordo reply. Up B, that's gonna be a good 25. Denies him. A little water bottle for Krom. Back. That's gonna be uh, 
DDD up tilt. Reflect the Gordo back. What a footstool. Able to mix up his jumps really well. On the edge of my seat. Good down throw. Almost an entire stock but ahead. Jab. Going to get the inhale. Going to shoot him off. Very bad position for Krom to be in. You rolled into a hammer? Again, you have to be a real bot to get hit by a hammer. Don't, don't look through my bot, by the way. Good combo, though. I'm just going to get the kill with the backer. Bait does a stock up, but Fire Muffin could pull this in his direction. Does have advantage. Whiffs the grab. <gasps> Goes for the down air. You're insane. Oh, this is so bad for Fire Muffin. Gonna get hit by the up air. Beta's very in control here. Up air's broken. Good back air. Don't want to call it yet, but this might be a beta game. There it is. There it is. Very commanding game from beta. One and one. This is a game three scenario. FD really worked out. I think having more platforms was so much better for Fire Muffin. I'm gonna lose the player cam there. Not gonna be able to see any pop off. Running it back. Beta has gone through this matchup on the highs and the lows. This is the third set they've played in the night. Gonna put a dramatic and an epic end to all of it. Alright. Gonna air dodge through. Now that Persona 4 music pumping. I smashed it the wrong direction. Weirdly, not the first time we've seen that. Fire Muffin gonna take the lead. Backer gonna swing it right back towards Beta. Has the read of the shield, but then space it right. Jab F smash at 66%. Right at the tip. Backer. Gonna get F tilt. Gonna jump right into the Gorda. I'm gonna have the Gordo refresh. Very good ledge trapping by Beta right now. Not quite gonna kill. Ooh. Fire Muffin gets it. The roll back on. Up till we'll take it. It's even. Crazy considering how early Fire Muffin killed. Go for the dash attack. I don't think that was intentional. Up on this platform, Beta cannot get down. Okay, punish from beta. We get the quarter. What we've seen in this matchup is whoever's on ledge is just dying. These characters really struggle. Jab back air. Ooh, not gonna hit. <laughs> Rude to that Gordo, man. Gonna be in favor of Fire Muffin that trade. Oh, gonna miss the backer by just a bit. With the F tilt. Good backer. No way. No way he's dead. He lived! He made it back. What a crazy recovery. Gonna reverse it. Gonna get him off stage. He's ledge trapping. Not going to get the kill, just the Gordo. Down tilt going to send out a nasty angle. 
Forward air will take it right off the side. Beta is holding on to the second stock. Back here, so that's going to be it. its last stock. Gonna get the grab. Beta's up. Fire Muffin helps to change that. This is making Weaver history here. Up on this platform. Really stuck on here. Ooh, Fire Muffin gonna fail on that ledge trap. Oh my gosh, just seconds away from being meaty on the ledge. Oh, gonna miss it again. Fire Muffin's in advantage. Gets the spike. Go for dash attack, such a laggy option, gonna get punished. They're both at kill percent, they can both die to any hit here. Uh oh. Cool. That's it! Let's go! Thank you for watching, that will be the end of the weekly stream.